just punch just push the tree down you'd think but you really think the man that can't climb over a chain link fence is going to be able to knock down the tree even though the tree look like it's barely hanging on of course not now i need to get an axe somehow which maybe i'll get the axe from this scout camp all right so where am i again i'm here i need to go southeast it's gonna be a long hike uh, where am i southeast i need to go that way all right climbing up here just tackle it with my shoulder pepe hands no poor henry's got a delicate constitution god so that's just just frustrating all right so we'll head through the canyon because i need to head south this is good Said that they were doing a controlled burn that I'd be able to go through to catch up to them. I do like the music in this game. It sets a very nice ambience. He's a small petite person. I guess we don't have too much of a frame of reference for his height, but he does have to hold his, he does have to duck down when he is climbing down from his tower. So I'm going to assume he's actually decently tall. Lots of nature shots. Hey, I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Has anything strange been happening on your end? No, nothing really. Nothing really or nothing? Nothing. My door was open the other night, but that's not strange. That doesn't sound like nothing. It's nothing, I promise. All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I used. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry. It's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not. Okay, let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. Yeah, or the, or the, or the, the tower is just cheap. I guess it's a fair point. You want to believe that Henry is a shorty? You got plenty. You've got enough evidence to do so. I'll give it to you. All right. I know we don't so... know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the good ones. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. And he had his dad to protect him. Ned, right? Yeah. You don't think he could? No, you're you're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I hope so. Yeah, I need to head south. I think I'm about at the east edge of the map now, so I need to be going south to get to where I need to go.
Alright, keep on climbing. Boop. Boop. Next one. Alright, cool. So we made it back to our tower. Now from here... I need to head south. The direction I really have not gone at all. Shouldn't it be more difficult than the fence? Yes. Yes, it should be. Your point. Are you asking for logic from this game? I already told you I was frustrated at the fact that he wouldn't climb the friggin' fence. Okay, so I am heading generally south. Currently west, but generally south. So this is good. Whoa, the flapjack fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not going to try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. Hmm. Logic is has left gaming long ago. <laughs> You're right. Sometimes games just make stupid decisions. I like the games that justify their stupid decisions. Like, oh, you know, it's a video game. Just go with it. Oh, I I enjoy the that kind of humor. So yeah, they would burn a line of trees in a straight line so that when the fire would reach it, it won't be able to cross across that line because it's already been burnt. Okay, let's see what we got. Ron, really wish the powers that be could issue us radios that didn't suck ass. Most of the time I'd prefer to keep things pen to paper, but every once in a while it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office, but I don't think she gets that I took the job so I wouldn't have to deal with her or mom. I've been sitting at the spot for a while now, thinking about what to say to her, but I'm a quarter way through a bottle of fifes instead. Miss you, Dave. Terminal 7, One Chance to Die, Jane Eyre, The Accidental Survivor, Old Toilet Paper. Okay. Yeah. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks, now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see, the scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Ugh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. Mm -hmm. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. Is that a snowmobile? There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Whoa. Someone stripped these snowmobiles down to the bone. Huh. I and mean, that's weird, right? I mean, I can come up with a bunch of not weird reasons someone would do that out here, but given what's happened, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah? Where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. Why Pork Pond? Uh, because it's called Pork Pond. It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den. Or, you know, anywhere. 
Why do I feel like she took one of them? So literally fired. She just tossed people into Flapjack. <laughs> you let the fire get out of control, now you're in it. Okay. Boopity boop. Orc pond. Lovely. <laughs> what is that? Camp Arapaho? Camp Arapaho. You're there? Yeah, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Never sat right with me. Beware of weebelos in large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. Hot syrup. That just seemed weird to me. So you can't make this jump either, can you? Oh, there's a uh, a tree that I have the power to. I don't have the power to knock down because we're a wimp. There's a bunch of trees that I could use to cross, but I'm assuming that's what I, I think. I'm gonna get something that'll like an axe or something that'll let me cut the trees down. But first, I have to find my way across in the first place. You just yeet. Oh yeah, that's a work. Okay, cool. There's a tiki. Totem pole. Nothing to say about the totem pole? Not a tiki, it's a totem pole. You ever talk to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. What type of nerdy hobbies are we talking about with him? Like, a uh, marching band? Oh, no, 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 no. Like, comics, model rockets, wizards and wyverns, you know. Ugh. Hey, thanks to Brian, I can almost recall by memory the armor classes of most dragons. The what? <laughs> no, you can't. Hey, planar dragons armor class. Let's see. Okay, no, I believe you. We're good. We're good. <laughs> uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. All of the weebs. Oh, there's a bear trap. There are bear traps out here in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. Ten to one. The gripping finale to Crime by the Numbers. When a full page ad is taken out in the South City Chronicle with the names of ten citizens and none connected and three already dead, it's clear to eh, blank of 1.5 million what is going to happen to the last seven. Wish I could have like collected the books. That just fades through the ground. All right. Understood. Have a nice day. <laughs> Interesting. I don't know what that symbol's there for. And then a broken down picnic table. It's like an old supply box or firewood box. Old fire pit. Hm. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. LARPing. I got some toilet paper though. I found a little trowel. Maybe I should take it with me. Use it to pop open beers. Wow. Um, 99% sure that's for burying poop. And I'm holding it. Maybe drop it? I don't wanna. I like the poop trowel. <laughs> All right, we got a memo. Hey D, they left something behind. Uh, squad boss Grant Carson, Wyoming Interagency Hotshot Crew, Paint Rock Ranger District. 
RE Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station, the Thoroughfare Region. Squad Boss Carson, in the next few days, you and your team will be dropping into the Thoroughfare Region of Shoshone National Forest to cut a fire line south of Ruby River. I'm writing you on behalf of Dr. Ben Simmons at Wapiti Station. He reached out to the superintendent with wildfire concerns about his research site. Upon your return, someone from his office will want to speak with you as part of a wildlife risk assessment of the region. I told them that I have nothing to worry about and that your team's fire lines are the most potent preventative measure in protecting their site, even though they'll be more than a mile away. But I think they've got insurance companies to answer to. Thanks always for your service, Rich Susarenko. And it's like a memo from their boss. Does it say anything of note? Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would meet someone who'd give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Oh, you know, probably just horned toads. And... A Wapiti Station clipboard with our conversations on it is just, what, recreation for them? I'm just messing around. Somebody is obviously up to something. I'm freaking out here. At least we know there is something real happening behind that fence. I think that we should consider that maybe this is all just a coincidence, but my gut says that there is something bad going on. Mine too. Okay. So what's next? I'm going to do a scan for supplies and then figure out a way to get back over that ravine and hike towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. The TV should have been a dead giveaway. I didn't make the connection until you pointed it out to me. Uh, I found an axe. If one of the crew left it, that thing is actually called a Pulaski. It looks like an axe to me. This thing will be a huge help. For both getting through the backcountry and getting through that fence. Yeah, I'm out of here. Mine. Nice. It's a big, big thing to find out in the wilderness. Hiya! Pretty sure that's not quite how you do that, but you know, more power to you. And all of a sudden, he can do all the things he couldn't do before. Okay, so am I heading back to Wapiti Meadow? Basically means I've got to travel all the friggin' way back there. God. Are you there? I, I had a thought. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. <coughs> Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? Not without tapping our radios. Well, what about when I heard you talking to someone else? I just left your line open. That's not what this is. Get in your tower. Shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. <laughs> 